Okay, we're gonna finish these deer heads up here tonight. Um, I did this epoxy work a few days ago. Normally you can paint the epoxy and finish the deer head that day, you know, 30 minutes or an hour after you do the epoxy, it's gonna harden up enough to paint. But uh, we just didn't have time. So we're gonna finish them up tonight. We've got our three deer heads. We've got, this is my buck, 2020, Danielle's buck from 2020, and then this is her bow kill from last year, 2021. So I'm gonna show y'all uh, the rest of the finish work, the paint, the clear coats, what we use on the horns, and uh, get these guys ready to move in the house. All right, I got some gloves. I like to use these latex gloves or nitrile gloves when we're working around this uh, lacquer paint. It's what we're gonna be using, lacquer thinner and all, and it'll, it'll rough on your hands. We've got a pache, um, airbrush. This is a fine, uh, kind of like a detailing air, airbrush. It's their finer version. You can get these um, at Hobby Lobby or you can order them online. Um, we're going to need a respirator. I like to use this when I'm uh, painting, especially with lacquer. And sometimes the ventilation ain't real good in the shop. I'm going to use some paper towels, a few. I like to have me an empty bucket, ice cream bucket or whatever. And what I do with this, I put me a little bit of lacquer thinner in this. Just some cheap Walmart brand lacquer thinner. That's for cleaning my airbrush and all that. I'll show you how to do that. I also use Polytranspar paints and lacquer thinner. Now, Polytranspar, you can get it from Taxidermy Supply Place. This Polytranspar lacquer thinner I like to use just to thin my paints. This stuff will sit up and kind of thicken and it don't go through the airbrush quite as good. I haven't had real good luck using other brands. I like to use this because it's made for this paint. So, um, to do the gloss on the nose and eyes, I use this Super Fish Gloss. You get it any of the taxidermy supply places. I keep me a little bottle of clean lacquer thinner. This is just so I can take a Q-tip. I'll have me some Q-tips and any excess I get on the eyes, I can wipe off with that. I use this clear coat acrylic sealer. Um, Second to Nature Taxidermy Supply has that. I use that to spray the horns down with. Put a, uh, it's a, like a non-gloss, just a clear coat on the horns. It seals them in real good. Okay, like I said, the paint we're gonna be using is Polytranspar lacquer base. You can get this in water base or lacquer. I like the lacquer, it holds up really good. I'm only going to use four colors anytime I'm finishing a game head. It doesn't matter if it's elk, deer, whatever. I use the flesh, which is a 165 is the number on that. I use the diver's gray. That's third, number 32. I use black, which is number 30. And I use the burnt umber, which is number 29. That's the only four colors that I'll use finishing these deer heads. All right, one thing I always do before I start painting is I take this uh, fine tip needle out. It's always got some leftover paint on it. You really can't see it, but it's always got some on it. And I'll, I'll clean this real good with a little lacquer thinner and clean the inside of this brush. I just run it down in there and spray it a little bit. Get all this uh, residue from last time I used it out of there. I always clean it afterwards, but there always seems to be a little bit left over. All
First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start out with my diver's gray. This diver's gray is going to be our base coat. And what you're going to see when I start spraying this diver's gray is this epoxy and this skin, I'm going to tile that in. And like this spot up here where there's a scar or anything like that, I'm going to blend that in with the rest of this hair. And it's going to really tile this coloration in so when I come back and spray my darker color around, it'll all tie together. So we're going to start out with the diver's gray. We'll come back with the burn umber. We're going to put a little bit of the burn umber on the nose and all. And then we'll come back with the black and we'll do the flesh last. Got the black umber there, number 29.
All right, we're gonna do the nose here. I'll show you what to do. This is, um, the nose is gonna get the, the black umber and the black, but I'm gonna put the black umber first. I'm gonna show you a little bit about how I do this. All right, I'm fixing to do the nose. Now this is a pretty important part. Around the eyes, we just use the diver's gray and the black umber. The nose, I use the diver's gray, black umber, and black. And I'm gonna show you how I tie all this in and we're gonna make this nose look a little uh, natural, kind of like a, a deer's nose really isn't black, it's kind of grayish colored. But I'm gonna show you how I blend all this in. Get these edges first. Now you gotta be careful here when you're spraying around this nose not to get the black umber inside the nose or the black. So I'm always spraying at an angle, just kind of feathering the edges. And you can see how I tied this edge in and it totally made that skin um, line disappear up there. So now I'm just gonna model this all up and then we'll come back and, and kind of tint it a little darker with the black. Now that's it for now. I, I leave this lower end a little bit lighter. Come down a little bit and you can see right here. See how it's a little bit lighter up in under there. So when I clear coat this, it'll kind of tile that in. On with the flesh and the nose. This is gonna finish the inside of the nose out. And I'm gonna hit the ears, inside the ears, just a little bit with this flesh. It'll kind of make it a little livelier. I'm gonna show you on mine right here. You could see earlier this uh, spot where there wasn't any hair and it was just dead skin. But when I sprayed it with that diver's gray and come back over it with the just a touch of the kind of tied the burnt umber into it, it it really erased that big black spot right there. I like to clean my eyes with Q-tip and lacquer thinner, so I take this Q-tip and just hit it with a hammer and flatten it a little bit. It's a little bit more detailed. I just dip it right there in my lacquer thinner. Coming right around that edge there. I don't want to get into my I don't want to get into my paint there. 
sometimes you'll get into it if you do you just take your airbrush and touch it back up a little bit You can see when I take that paint off that eye, it really shines that eye back up. Okay, we've finished painting. All of our painting's done. We're just gonna put a clear coat on the nose and the, just a very small amount on the eyes and tear duct area and around the uh, eyelids and all that and then we'll put clear coat on on the antlers like I said we're going to use the for the face we're going to use the super fish gloss and uh, you want to go real light with this if you spray this real hard this is this will actually take that lacquer off um, so you just want to kind of mist it on there and then come back kind of let that dry it'll dry just a couple minutes and then kind of mist it again You can see how that kind of brought the shine out in the eyes and around the nose. See how it just kind of blended in, give it that wet look, natural. A little bit grayer tone on the down closer to the mouth palette. It's a good looking deer nose. All right, we're gonna spray. The horns down and we're going to get out of here real quick let this scent settle down in here Alright, that's it. We're going to move this guy in the house. Alright, there's Danielle's 9-point from two years ago. Got my Big Ten in here from two years ago. That's her Big Ten from last year. Her bow buck. A little clip of some of the taxidermy work I've done over the years in here in the living room. Got some good looking deer up there, good looking mounts. That's gonna be it for this one. God's Country Hunting and Fishing, keeping it real.